morning guys it is the morning of Wednesday June 12th we got a little bit of rain last night not a lot I pulled up enough of radar because I don't get very good signal here to see that if we are going to get more rain it's going to be a little while um, when I pulled up the hourly forecast last night it said that around 11 or 12 there was a really good chance of thunderstorms so I'm going to get some coffee made while we visit. And um, a little bit of breakfast, some Mountain House granola and blueberry cereal. One of my favorites for uh, a meal that you don't have to heat any water for. That way all I've got to do is heat enough for coffee. I've got a kettle that's big enough that can heat up enough water for coffee and a meal but if I don't need it what's the point it didn't get as cool last night as I think they thought it was going to so that was nice I wanted to get a cot for that tent but Things got kind of rushed, as they always do, and I wanted to get going on this trip. So I'm using two air mattresses, and I still didn't sleep that well. But I think it's just because my back is spoiled. <laughs> it's used to sleeping on a lazy boy. Oh, and I got to get a lighter. Hang on. Ah, we'll do it this way. Now the coffee for this trip, and I'll show you, I used to get that Nescafe 3-in-1 off of Amazon, but it's like $17 a box. I found this stuff at Fox Farm Foods in Joplin. If I can get it to focus. It's a 3-in-1, but it's from Vietnam. The coffee beans are grown in Vietnam. I've had some of this before, and it's really good, and stronger than most coffees, so that ought to wake me up enough to get the tent and everything packed back up, and today we are going to go on the Glade Top Trail. I know there's an easy way on it. And there's some off-roading stuff. We're not going to do any of the off-roading stuff, even though I have a Jeep, because I'm out here by myself. And it did rain last night, and there's calling for more rain. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck. But I do understand that there's a lot to see on that road. So we're going to go do that. And then what happens after that, I really don't know. I don't know where we're going to go next. Like I said before, I have destinations that I want to make, but not necessarily set plans on when to do them. Huh. Almost forgot what I was doing. My pot was getting hot for no reason. That's what I was looking for. So I'll bring you guys back in a little while.
All right, guys, camp is all cleaned up. We ended up being the only ones here last night. Jeep's all packed up. She was looking out the window. I don't know if you can see her or not. Nope, she went. We are going to get out of here before the rain gets here. Because it's a coming. Starting the Glade Top Trail. Welcome to your National Forest. The Glade Top Trail National Forest Scenic Byway is the first of its kind in Missouri and just one of over a hundred scenic byways in National Forest. Cool. Let's get going. Now hopefully you can hear me on this camera and I'm not yelling or you can't hear me at all. Oh, there's deer up here. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I know there's going to be those that are going to make fun of me because I'm not doing the hard part of the trail. But I am out here by myself and I'm just here to see nature and not get stuck. There goes a the deer. We just got started and we've already seen a deer. I've seen a few spots already where I could get off-road. I've seen one spot where I could have camped, but I'm still glad I camped where I did because a vault toilet, in my opinion, is better than digging a hole. <laughs> and I used it twice, so... Red marker on that one. As I'm going, the rain will probably catch up with me. distance there. I'm getting rained on. It's worth it though. I think we're going to have probably a lot more, maybe even better views than that along this road. Plenty of wildflowers. Hey, hey guys, right, you got to see this. That's Jeep life for you. Looks 
like we're going to circle around to a little mountain over there. This is cool. I know it's kind of hazy. I can't pick the days. I can't pick the weather. What do you think, Sheba? Huh? We got a sign up here. It says stop eight. I don't know how many stops are on this trail. And if this is stop eight, where'd one, two, seven go? <laughs> but this is definitely worth it. What a view. Think they got enough signs? They do not want you to get lost, I reckon. We are at all vehicles on forest system roads must be in compliance with state laws. That's what it says. We are at stop number seven, Wolf Junction. And I actually have a Q code reader on my phone. I forgot to stop eight. So let's see what it says, Crat. Oh, well, we'll see if it'll open the website. I kind of doubt it. We're in Rome. If it does, I'll tell you what it says. If not, we're at Wolf Junction. We do not go that way. That is York Road. We go that way. Looks like we could have camped here, too. All right, I can't get that website to open, but there is a sign called Walk a Mile in My Shoes, the Walking Preacher of the Ozarks. It tells a story about a guy named J.W. Finley who entered the ministry in 1929, living near Hammond, Missouri. It was during the Depression when people had cars and but had very little money to operate them. So it's a story about him and how he walked to schoolhouses, churches, and ministered in meetings, walking thousands of miles through the years. Pretty cool. I'm going to call this a nice day, even though it's raining and it's a little cool. Sheba's having fun running around. I'm having fun, and that is all that matters. Let's continue. Stop number six, but there's a guy with his horses up there, so we won't we won't mess with it. That way is. Apparently, oh, they got a turtle, a dead end. So we won't go that way. We're going to keep going this way. I want you guys to know I'm getting soaked for this shot. It is freaking raining. It's getting on the lens. Very cool though. I'm not even sure I'm still on Glade Top Trail. Google wanted me to go a shorter way. I don't know. Still pretty, even if I'm not. Well, a 
apparently I did make the right turn. We are at stop number five, the Caney Picnic Area and Wildlife Viewing, which we would do if it wasn't raining. I might pull over here and take a break for a while anyway. Oh, I thought we might sit here and wait this out. But I don't think it's going to quit raining anytime soon. So I'm going to move on to the next spot. Goodbye, number five. Stop number four, the Watershed Divide. What do you say? She was mad at me. <sighs> Legends are made, not born. The bald knobbers. I've heard of the bald knobbers. It was on a bald such as this, a notorious vigilante group had their second secret meeting sitting on top of one of these balls, gave an excellent vantage point to locate anyone trying to spy on them. Most of the activity to the bald numbers took place in nearby Christian and Taney counties. Their purpose was to rid area of gold brickers, womanizers, and sleaze. They hanged the last known bald number in Ozark, Missouri in 1889. This would be really cool if it wasn't raining. Hey guys, we're overlanding in Missouri. Want to see Arkansas? This view is looking into Arkansas. Somebody is sick to death being in that Jeep. All right, we're at stop number three. Oh, say can you see Arkansas view on clear days, <laughs> which is not today. Can you see this uh, fog coming off the trees there? On clear days when the humidity is low, you can see St. Francis Mountains in the distance, 40 miles away. Containing rugged and inaccessible terrain, the St. Francis Mountains were one of the last areas settled in the Ozarks. They were also part of the once great Cherokee Nation. So much history. Bald knobbers and Cherokee. There was some Indian in my family, but nobody seems to remember much about it anymore. Well, there's the stop number two. Have you figured it out? We're going backwards. But there's no sign no other information I was wrong I found a sign it just talks about the Gleg ecosystem management you can pause that and read it if you want to a lot of cedar in this area I like cedar, they're very pretty. Well, guys, we made it to stop one. So, you can figure that out, we're going backwards. Glade Top Trail. It was very cool. I wish that, uh, there's the falls in Hercules Glades. I've been there. Very cool. It was a lot of fun. I just wish I could do the, it would, the weather would have been better. 
little back history. Uh, the Civilian Conservation Corps built the original road before it was designated as a forest byway in the 1930s. It's 23 miles along ridgetops, rolling countryside. The trail is named for the glades visitors see as they drive the trail. So that's the end of the Glade Top Trail, but it is not the end of day two. Now we gotta figure out what we do from here. <laughs>